Um, step here. I'm kind of tired. I've been working on this big project of mine. Um, basically a sorting machine. That's where you put chests into it items into this chest, and it basically sorts it throughout all of these chests, uh, crystal chests, so you can see what's inside. Um, now the sorting machine is working now, but it's quite slow. So I'm just gonna use my watch of flowing time to uh, increase the speed a bit, and this is pretty awesome. Wait, if the sun, you can see the sun goes really fast. All the items just go like sonic speed. It's pretty interesting to look at. Anyway, um, this is gonna sort all the items into the chest that I want, um, and then. Yes, I'm gonna be explaining a bit how it works, and uh, then later I'll make a, a full tutorial on what exactly needs to be done in order to make this. Um, but I think if you just, well, after I've explained it, I think it should be possible for everyone to make one of these. Right now we can just see how the items in here, they're depleting. Um, going to the different sections where they're supposed to. Okay, um, I'm gonna briefly explain how the sorter works real quick. The sorter needs electricity, uh, blue tricity. So I've connected it to a bunch of solar panels. I'm just gonna make it a bunch of solar panels, and um, the bat box is then connected to these three sorting machines. Um, the sorting machine also needs. Is, is this one over here running? No. Wait. Okay, this chest is empty. Okay, no items in here. Any items in here? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. This this is running out. Great. Okay. Um, yes. The sorting machines need electricity. That's why they have these. They also need a redstone signal to run once. That's why there are these timers that are running with a delay of 0 0.2 seconds. Um, right, I'm just going to show slow time. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um... So every time the timer ticks, it sucks out one item from the chest. Now, uh, if you right-click on the sorting machine, you can see there's this interface um, where you're basically each column is coded to a color, which is corresponding to uh, the pipes. So the pipe with that color, basically uh, they're kind of intelligent. So um, let's say here, for example, the yellow column is uh, energy condensers and alchemical chests, and you can see all the yellow things went into the yellow um, pipe, the yellow uh, way basically. Here now all the pink things are going into the pink chest in little pink packages. If we look here, it, those are all the uh, red power computer things that are going in there. Quite nice. Um, yeah, uh, the reason why I have three is because you see the inventory is not very big. And I've selected this option here, which basically tells you uh, suck out anything from any column. Uh, but if there's nothing to suck out, uh, suck out the default route, or put it in a default route, which is white. So you have all the things going. Oh, it's, oh, that's not nice. And I don't have a weapon. That's great. Wait, will this? Oh, that only speeds up machines. Okay. Um, let me see. What am I going to do? This is getting scary. Okay, okay. I really. F can't. I feel like it's right behind me. Oh, it's trying to get. Over. Come at me, man. Come on. Okay, there we go. Um, right. Oh, all the items are sorted. Anyways, um, if they can't go through a route, if there's no specified route, uh, they'll go through the default route, which is uh, white. So basically what I said here was, um, sort all the things. If one of these colors do not match the item, take the default route, which is white, which is over here. Then they go into this chest, and this sorting machine will suck them out. And do the same thing. Put it in one of these uh, seven chests. If not, go to the default route, which is up here. And over into this chest. And then this, this sorting machine does the exact same thing, except uh, the default route just goes into a separate chest, where basically you can see there's a bunch of junk that uh, didn't go into any other chests. But now if we look through here, there are some empty chests, because not all of the chests have items that I put in. Um, but they're basically just like categorized to what um, I categorized them as, which is very cool. Um, I made one of these in 
single player survival with no cheating uh, and yeah. it takes a lot of time but it's it's amazing you can um then after this you can incorporate in uh, using the furnaces macerators all that stuff basically you send uh, a route that uh, for let's say different ores where they get macerated and then they get smelted afterwards and then go into a chest where they're supposed to be um, in order to make sure that like you have a chest for uh, ingots instead of just the ores yeah so um, I'm gonna be making a tutorial a quick tutorial on how to make one of these well not quick tutorial it's gonna take a long time but I wouldn't be able to fit it in this video unfortunately but um, yeah it's getting late I'm tired so yeah, uh, anyways, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, uh, how, wait, um, before you leave, I'm just going to show you some more blocks going through here at, no, oh, wait, wait, stacks, oh, right, okay, one thing to notice, when they go through the default route, they go a stack at a time instead of one at a time, right, okay, let's just speed up time with the, this awesome watch. I, fi I find this hilarious. I, I find it awesome. It's pretty cool. I love this. Um, yeah, it's going like super speed. Where all the oh no more things. Right. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.